Oh, welcome back to News Nation Rush Hour. I'm Nicole Burley, and it is being called one of the largest jewelry heists of all time. Thieves making off with millions of dollars worth of gold, diamonds, rubies, and much more, and taking it all in less than 30 minutes, leaving authorities scratching their heads, wondering how they managed to pull it off and what they did with the stolen jewels. It's a scene straight out of a movie, but for the victims, the reality is hitting hard. California authorities now convinced the gang of thieves who pulled off a heist of millions of dollars worth of gold, jewelry, and luxury watches earlier this month had been tracking the armored truck carrying the prized possessions. And they say it only took the crooks about 27 minutes to pull off. You couldn't make up a story like this. It's just so bizarre. The, the sheer volume of these large foot lockers uh, would fill more than a cargo van. I, I just can't understand how they could get away with so much merchandise. The theft occurred in the middle of the night at a truck stop north of Los Angeles. In mid-transport, on the way to a Pasadena gem show, the drivers of the Brinks truck carrying the items pulled off the highway around 2 a.m. In an instant, the thieves moved in, nabbing upwards of $150 million worth of merchandise. 18 vendors, some of them small mom and pop outfits, losing their livelihood in less than 30 minutes. Their whole life that they've been working and doing our shows for 30 or 40 years was in that box worth a couple million dollars. And, and now lots of those are gone. As for those businesses getting their money back, it's not as simple as filing an insurance claim. That's because vendors typically undervalue ultra expensive items like those which were stolen due to the high cost of full coverage. Though the heist allegedly resulted in a much greater loss, Brinks says the total value of the missing items it's responsible for is less than 10 million. In a statement, the company said in part, quote, we will fully reimburse our customers for the value of their assets that were stolen in accordance with the terms of our contract. The FBI and multiple California agencies are on the case, but for now, what's being described as one of the largest jewelry heists ever appears to have authorities stumped. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.